previously on Skyrim. Mine now. Oh god! Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. On the last episode, we, uh, headed from Helgen and Helgen Keep, now that we've escaped the cave, and, uh, because we had nowhere else to go, we followed Hadvar all the way to Riverwood, uh, the tutorial town. Uh, on our way there, though, we ran into the Guardian Stones, a set of three standing stones, uh, of twelve that are scattered across the realm of Skyrim. Uh, we chose the Warrior Stone, and then immediately chose the Thief Stone once Hadvar wasn't looking. <laughs> ran into some wolves, and made our way over to Riverwood, where we talked with, uh, Hadvar's aunt and uncle, who run the blacksmith shop here. Uh, after telling them what happened, they somewhat believed us, and so, if things are going true, Riverwood might need some help. So, uh, Alvor sent us to Whiterun to go ask the Jarl for aid. Otherwise, the town's kind of defenseless, because this is the closest settlement to Helgen. Uh, and then we quickly went backwards, uh, met up with a man guarding a mine, and instigated a fight and won. So, on this episode, uh, we now know what the plot is. At least for, um, not the game plot, but gameplay plot. What we're doing for the run. The minimum requirement of what this uh, Let's Play is going to be. Uh, for those that weren't at the end of last episode, the minimum thing is every one of these bleep loops. That's what, that's what we'll consider complete. Uh, but, I mean, there's a lot of other stuff we could possibly do, <laughs> and might tag on to that, just in case. So, at least you'll know what the simple premise is. All of the, all of the bleep bloops. And I'm gonna call them bleep bloops, because one, it's funny, and two, it's both achievements and trophies. They're the same thing. So, bleep bloops is just all around, all encompassing. So, we have a job to do. We have to go to Whiterun. If we look at our map... Uh, White Run is marked over here. It is one of the main settlements that are already marked on the map. And also, if you look very closely, you could see the whole town right here anyway. It is huge. <laughs> so all we have to do is go from here and then walk all the way there. Not bad. Shouldn't take too long. It really shouldn't. I've done this walk so many times. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Hi. I'm trying to make Yambo seem <laughs> gentle. <laughs> All the flower picking we're doing. Oh, was there? There's another chicken. I don't know why I thought it was a cat. I'm not even sure if cats exist in Skyrim. Okay. Uh, Yambo also has a, na a knack for looking and finding stuff. Uh, you'll you'll very quickly determine what is an op openable object like these barrels are what's inside carrots yes please they're not red so i'm not stealing they're, they're mine my carrots also before we leave town uh pick flowers before we leave town i want to quickly walk and run over to the other side of town there is something that will change the next time we come back here and so i want to show off what it's going to look like now so right outside the gate is this little area right here. Ooh, there's some spider webs back here. That's kind of creepy. Anyway, there's just a pile of wood here. That'll change once we uh, get a little bit further into this episode. I also, uh, once again, I know episodes are a little short. The first two episodes are recorded back to back. Trust me. <laughs> I am fully aware how long this series will take. So future episodes, including this one, might be 40, 50, maybe an hour long. <laughs> Oh, they love fish hanging up. Well, I mean, Yambo sticky fingers here. I gotta be careful. I don't want to be over... My book now. <laughs> Use... Uh... This is... This is new. I've never done this. <laughs> I've never done that. That's part of the uh, anniversary upgrade that happened uh, last November when uh, the 10-year anniversary of this game hit. They had a whole bunch of new things that they added, like the survival mode prompt we saw way back up in Helgen. They got that. Fishing is now available. I don't really know what else you could do. I mean, 
there's a fish right there. I don't need to cast a line to grab it. I could just simply go grab it. Oh, look at that. There's a deer here. I think it'll start running if I get close to it. <gasps> There's a bunny rabbit, too. Am I a princess? I'm a Disney princess. Oh, it's leaving me. Where'd the rabbit go? Oh, it's way over there. You are also going to see, like, water ripples because the water does ripple. Uh... That deer's having fun. I think a rabbit drowned itself. Rabbit. I am not moving. Uh, the current is carrying me. Hey there, dear friend. I stopped. I hit. I hit. I hit the bottom. The rabbit is nowhere to be found. That's fine. We have bigger fish to fry. We have white run to go to. It's a shame it's in the middle of the night. What time is it right now? It is almost 1 a.m. Okay. That didn't sound good. We're dealing with too many wolves. Luckily, I have my unlimited power. Anyone else want a piece of me? Take a piece of you. Someone else, huh? Yeah, we'll get it. We're gonna get used to that. If you walk on roads, you're probably gonna be attacked by something. If you walk through no roads, you'll probably get attacked by something regardless. I did set up some favorites. What those are are if I go over to here, you see the longbow here has a little mark next to it. That just means I favorited this weapon. So. If I want to quickly grab it, I just go to the favorites tab, which is this, but there's also a different way. I also have the hide shield here. I have the iron war axe. It's kind of hidden from the R thing. And you can even favorite spells. So I have all my spells currently favorited because I want them to be quick as possible. So if I hit up on the D-pad, it brings my favorite menu here. And if I had a connect connected to my Xbox, even though I don't know if you can connect the Series X to one, you could literally just say uh, whatever, and it'll fast, it'll favorite or bring it out. So I'm going to go to Longbow quickly. I already have my arrows equipped, so I don't need to, like, fast travel the, or fast uh, favorite the arrows unless I wanted to switch the type. You can always tell what's equipped by looking at what's a clear arrow up here. I don't have any other arrows, so it doesn't matter. Oop. No, we're not looking at the skill tab yet. We're keeping that secret until we get a level up. And so far, no one. So there's Whiterun, way off in the distance. My job is to get to the front door. Just so I can go deliver this news. I could be sprinting, but... I want to keep my uh, I want to keep my stamina for right now. We're getting a lot of marks on our compass bar, which is good. Uh, this game really wants you to wander off the beaten path and uh, grab as many of these as possible. They help. They become fast travel points, just like all the shrines in Breath of the Wild. I swear I will do these ones uh, quicker than those ones. <laughs> The Haunting Brew Meadery discovered. Also, you might be wondering why I know which flowers are to pick. Uh, hours and hours of gameplay. You'll you'll find out. I mean, if you just go to a flower thing and it doesn't say anything, like this, then you can't pick them. But usually if they're colorful, you can pick something. Although sometimes I still get confused. There's certain plants that look different. Okay, so I want to actually help with this. There's a thing that's happening right now. I don't know if I got a hit. I hope I did. Oh, I did. Sweet. All right. I actually helped. I help it did. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. 
What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I join you? This this is rude, Yambo. You know better than that. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell you worth. If you go to him, good luck. Oh god, look at his wrist. His, his, uh, okay, his wrist isn't twisted. Alright, this is a giant. Uh... Avoid them if possible. <laughs> You'll find out very quickly why, but let's just say that they're they're into aeronautics. So these are members of the companions. Uh, they were just here because this giant was attacking this farm. I managed to get a shot in, so I helped. Most of the time, by the time you reach the giant to help, uh, they'll have killed it, and you'll be you'll be a. Uh, scolded for not helping and uh it wasn't until the last time i played this game that i actually managed to help for once and i got that thank you and i was like wait you can actually help so yeah i, I wanted to help as much as possible i don't want to get scolded i thought that was a giant it's a tree <laughs> okay all right so we got some guards walking around here i want to pick this thing up This is probably going to be one of the easier flowers you pick because they glow and they make a noise. Hello there, sir. I didn't do anything. I'm just a I'm just a I'm just a friendly little florist here. All right, why we're so close? Got a bunch of different signs pointing to places. White Run is right there. Uh, Ivarstead is that way. So is Winterhold. Uh, Windhelm, Riften, Solitude, and MacArth. And that's his White Run again. All of these are places. Uh... Why is Winterhold in white? Hmm. I don't know why Winterhold is in white. Maybe just a texture thing. I know it's it's late, isn't it? What time is it? <laughs> Three. White run stables discovered. Why was the W so separate from the H? That was weird. I'm gonna have so many blue mountain flowers. Hello there. This one needs something. I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. Ooh, balance of power. We got a new mission. Uh, I'm curious about your homeland. The Karid hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient the sands have swallowed them whole, but now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. I'm sorry. An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away. But for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. What have you got for sale? So this is a traveling merchant, uh, Khajiit, from elsewhere. Uh, so there's going to be some roaming bands of merchants that we can find every now and then. Here's the, here's the buying and selling uh, menu. If we go underneath his name, up until there, there's everything he wants wants that's everything we want to buy if we go into our inventory this is things we can sell so let's see what he has i mean if we go over the name and go right this shows everything he has uh is there even anything we want oh god 
fishing maps. I'm going to be honest. I haven't played this game since the anniversary update came out, so I don't really know much about what it was. Ooh. Oh, God. Look at how, look at how much it is. I only have 135 gold. Lifting. Moon sugar. Lots of lock picks. I'm going to be honest. There's only one thing I'm really looking for. And I don't see it here. Get a fishing rod. All right. May your road lead you to warm sands. So I said they're roaming. There are some days. If you look over here, it's Morndis. <laughs> Monday. That's Monday. Uh, some days he won't be here, and they'll probably be wandering to their next destination. Uh, as far as I know, which could be very little, or maybe even one hundred percent correct. Who knows? There are three. Places that they can sit down? Four. <laughs> I, I remembered another one. There's at least four. I like how I was, I was thinking I was incorrect, and the moment I started, I, I remembered another one. So I was 100% incorrect. I like the water that's coming around here, though. Hello, sir. Is it morning yet? It's almost morning, I think. Is it close? Not even close. Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I guess the news about dragons has already reached here. Okay, so we have a couple of different options. We have Riverwood Calls for the Jarl's Aid, which is the easiest. I have news from Helgen about the Dragon Attack, which is a Persuade option. This depends on your speech, whether or not your speech is high enough or not. Uh, Intimidate is also like that, but it's like, I'm going to beat you up if you don't get out of my way. Or we could bribe. There's always a bribe option, but I mean, might as well try this. Fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on you. Sweet. So it was, I was successful. My speech is awful, by the way. So uh, I'm just a simple flower, man. How many people are working at four in the morning? We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Huh. <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Well, she's an early starter. There's even flowers to pick in town. This is the best. All right. So, Whiterun is the first major city we get to go to. Hello, sir. Uh, we can take a look at the map of this place. Oop, that's, uh, powers. Map's not gonna be, I mean, we have this giant map. We also have a local map, which doesn't show us much. It does show us every door that's around us, though. Like, the entrance of the place, the, uh, War Maiden's shop over here. There's a guard barracks right next to us. Some barrels to rob. But we know our destination. Our destination is way up there. We were told to go to the tip top. And we're going to the tip top. <laughs> Even if it is four or five in the morning. Got some shops right here. Like some, like a farmer's market. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. I was there. <laughs> I was there, man. Dragons, I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. Just follow the stairs. Follow the stairs to the giant house at the tip top. The good news about this giant house is that there's also a fast travel point to this house. Dragon's Reach. So yeah, like I was saying, there's now an if we want to, we could go to either the front of White Run or the back of White Run. Very nice. Hey. 
Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You should have seen it. I owe us no care from Hela. We Nothing. cannot afford to act with you. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. I What's just the think meaning we... of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Who's this? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. My hands are up. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Thank you. Pretty fire. Pretty fire. <laughs> Hello, Jarl. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? All right, I could be. Do I have three options? I didn't. I didn't notice this last one. Oh, there's a triangle at the bottom. Uh, yeah, we could just be like neutral. We could be like talking about Ulfric, or we could be like super duper revealing. It's like, yeah, we were about to have our head chopped off. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past, but it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is what exactly happened at Helgen. Okay, so the first option is gone. Now I can uh, I can talk about the next two things. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountain, this is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and... Rumors of dragons. All right, I'm updating the spreadsheet. <laughs> All right, we got a free piece of steel armor, which is our first bit of heavy armor that we have. It's heavier, but it gives us more protection. I feel like, I mean, I'm usually, I usually go light armor because it's, it's less, it weighs less. I mean, look at this. It's uh, 25 armor to... 35 armor but the weight is 35 weight to six so our armor rating does go up but so does the uh so does the weight might as well wear it it was free so we just finished one job now we have another on our hands Varengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Can you tell me anything about Bleak Ball's Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, 
Perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. M miserable village? You were just there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. All right. Holy crap, look at all of these. Uh, have you encountered any dragons before? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. <laughs> I mean, the dragons have only been around for an hour at this point. <laughs> a little over an hour. Uh, we're gonna learn some more magic. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Ooh, okay, give me a give me a little mini quest to do. Uh, how do you enchant weapons and armor? Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. I don't have the coin. But we can see what he has for sale. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Okay, so we're at another... This is a type of merchant. The uh, the wizard has a lot of wizard-related stuff. Like, he, to he told us about soul gems. Uh, as you see, the higher the value, the more better <laughs> the gem is. We got lesser, we got greater, we have common, and we have grand, which I think is the best. Whole bunch of different robes. We do have one of these robes. We took it off of that dead body that was in Helgen Keep. He also has a lot of scrolls. These are these are one-time use magic things. Unlike spell tomes, which are books that teach us how to use the magic. Uh, these are conjuration, illusion, alteration, restoration. Destruction. Some of these we already have. Like, we already have healing. I don't know why there's a spell term for healing since we start with it. <laughs> we also start with flames. And we got sparks off of one of those bodies that was down in the in the Helgen Keep as well. But everything else is a different type of spell that we can learn. And they're very expensive. And all you do have to do is read the book. And the book disappears. Off to Bleak Falls Barrow with you. The Jarl is not a patient man. Neither am I, come to think of it quickly before it's too late of course Jarl Balgruf you seem to have found me an able assistant I'm sure he will prove most useful succeed at this and you'll be rewarded white run will be in your debt okay first things oh, first I thought you were already on your way to bleak falls barrow I just started moving madman <laughs> okay we have a couple of things that we could probably get rid of if I get rid of, I mean, uh, we're gonna we're gonna learn the enchantment for them. So get out of my way. <laughs> Someone else is using this. I'm using this. All right, we'll just destroy this and learn its effects. We now know Fortify Magicka, so if we ever want to use that, we can now Fortify Magicka Regen. Yeah, so like here's we can here's all our enchantments that we learned. It says increase your magic by 20%, but that's not going to be what it is. Like, oh, we'll do... I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Falls Barrow. You, you're a madman. Uh, we can only put fortify magic stuff onto armor. Can't put it on weapons, so let's, like, test the fur gauntlets. I don't have a soul gem, so I can't actually finish the enchantment. But if you notice, it says increase your magic by one point, because uh, our enchanting level is very awful. So... The higher that is, the higher that number will be. Which we could we could use to exploit greatly at the end of the game. <laughs> like here's a petty soul gem. I think petty's the lowest. Petty than common, or is it petty than lesser than common? Oh, there's a bunch of uh poisons here. There's a uh 
common soul gem. Also, his library's back here. He's got a book. He's got a coin purse. I think all of these I could... I'll steal. Uh, I could steal. I, wanna, I don't want to be a thief. Wink, wink. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Take a look more throughout uh, Dragon's Reach. I think the Jarl finally went to bed. It only makes sense. It's uh, 7 in the morning. He worked a long night. Or the kitchen. Lots of food. Lots of... Uh, horse meat <laughs> like i had a double take at the food it's like wait that's not okay Ooh, venison delicious got cheese wheels we can even cook ourselves here where is it where's the option where's the option where's the option there it is so what do we have we can make some cabbage soup because we only we don't have a lot of there's a lot of things we could cook lots of new fish types holy crap Pheasant roast. I do have some pheasant breast. Potato soup. Rabbit haunch. Salmon steak. What else can I make? I could poison a green apple. Or I could poison a red apple. Okay, we're turning into Snow White. I did say I was a Disney princess earlier. Uh, let me just make something quickly so I can have the cook part done. Uh, make some cabbage soup. Cooking literally gives you nothing except food. You don't, like, learn a cooking ability, so... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. No lollygagging. Didn't take long for someone to tell me that. Hey, when we go back outside, at least it'll be morning. Okay, we got a map of Skyrim here. With a, with It's a war map. All the red is, like, the Imperial side. And all of the blue is the Stormcloak side. So, we can actually use this map, and uh, if we hit Y on any of these things, it'll say map updated. So, if we go to our map, we actually get the location of that thing. We can't fast travel to it, but we now have it on our map. So, if we want to, like, head to it, we could just mark it, and we'll head over there as soon as possible. So, it wouldn't hurt to, like, just start going to anything here and marking anything that might be interesting most of the forts will be new all these ones with like two flags next to them are bigger cities so you're probably not going to get anything from them all the square flags seem to be forts all the single flags are like smaller towns I'm just I'm just tapping the button very quickly because uh, just making sure that it says that map updated. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, look at that. A lot of towns now. A lot of places added. Towns, some forts. None of the bigger cities were added, so oh well. Oh, we that's where Loki here was from, Rorik said. We already we already left where Rayloff was from, Riverwood. Uh, we actually passed his house. At least his uh, relative's house. Same thing would have happened if we would have chosen the Stormcloak side. The walk from Helgen to Riverwood. And then the same thing would have happened heading off to Whiterun. Except someone else would have told us. My Jarl. A word, if I may. You've got 60 seconds. Go. There's been talk again in the streets. A general fear that the giants may move south and then... Well, you understand. Damn it, Provencus. I've got war lurking just outside my gates. And this is what you offer me? This? Be gone. Of course, sir. Hey, Provencus. I serve Jarl Balgrum as steward. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Well, we're getting a lot of... Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. We're getting a lot of missions. Let's take a look at our missions. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have Bleak Falls Barrow. This is the next main story mission. We did finish before the storm. All we had to do was talk with Jarl Bolgruff. Uh, balance of power. If you notice, at the top, there is no difference in the icon to the left and right of it. So this is just a basic, <laughs> it's just a basic mission. Uh, and then we have a bunch of miscellaneous tasks, which will lead to missions potentially. 
like Imperial Legion, go speak to the leader of the companions, go visit the College of Winterheld. That task we just got about the bandit leader. So, yeah. A lot of things. A lot of things are sprouting up all of a sudden. Let's go outside. It is almost 9 o'clock, which means people will be waking up and heading to their jobs. Uh, whoop, actually, I want to. I need to read some stuff. You have some... Uh, Let's see, by the order of Balgruff the Greater, to all able-bodied men and women of Right One, the bandit located in the halted stream camp have been harassing, robbing, and attacking citizens and visitors. A reward will be offered to anyone who kills their leader. All right. What about the Rissad's note? Here we go. Saints and Seduce. Oh, that's also... I think that's also a new, a new thing. <laughs> I just recognized the name from the Creation Club. The roads have been unkind to this one, played by outlaws along the route from White Run to McCarth. Guards travel with Rasad, yes, but they are all, they are ill-equipped to deal with ones can't read today, such as this. They wield strange golden weapons and wear gleaming armor. Rasad has read of such things only in stories. Their encampment is found just west of North Brittle Shin Pass. Each time they set upon us, they shout, "The Saints would like to browse your wares today." The brutes steal mostly trinkets and oddities, no matter how cheap this one knows them to be. Then they allow Rasad to go on his way. Rasad has not yet fought back. While it has harmed this one's coin purse, it is not worth a life. Rasad has heard of another gang patrolling the roads further north, calling themselves the Seducers. They are known for their menacing dark armor. Skyrim grows more perilous by the day. They are known at camp along the road west of Fort Kast Kastov. This one would pay handsomely to any who would help. Rasad fears for any who might come to harm at the hands of these worrisome pests. All right, let's see. Oop, I'm pressing every wrong button. There we go. I hate that I activated the local map because it's popping it up now <laughs> every time. Okay, so the halted stream camp is right there. Uh, I don't see any new markers for this Saints and Seducers thing. They're talking about a, a path to McCarth. And McCarth is... Where's McCarth? Where's, McCarth is way over here. Uh, they were talking about the fort. None of these forts. So, but North Brittleshin Pass. I, I strangely can remember that name. Where where do I remember it? I feel like it's around... You know what? Quick way to find out. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Saints Bandit Cap. Yeah, North Brittleshin Pass is right around here. Of course it is. And way over here is this. A, oh yeah, there's Fort Kostov. All right. I mean, we can have any number of missions activated like that. <laughs> oh god, there's gonna be too many things now. Well, I think the unfortunate thing is the miscellaneous ones we can't really track all that well. Except this one. Does it actually mark? Oh, it did mark it. Okay. All right, time to go outside. I need to level up. So I need to do something to level up. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I want to listen? Terrible and powerful Talos. We, your unworthy servants, give praise. For only through your grace and benevolence may we truly reach enlightenment. <laughs> we are but maggots writhing in the filth of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality and now walk among the stars. But you were once man, I. And as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos Stormcrown, born of the north, where my bread is long winter. Okay, we gotta leave. We gotta leave because he can he can go on for hours. <laughs> Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale, Breeze Hall. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. All right, the market's open. Oh, God, there's so many people here. 
I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to get a word in anywhere. Okay, let me put at least the 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 points of interest. We have an alchemy store right here. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. So here we can buy a bunch of alchemy materials, which is exactly what I've been picking up all this time. Like all of the flowers and like all of, yeah, all of the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> these are al these are alchemical components as you know as you see at the bottom underneath their weight and value there are four unknowns one of the ways to find out is to eat them uh so let's eat the blue mountain flower and we found out that one of its traits can restore health if i eat the purple mountain flower that says restore stamina and this says restore magicka so yeah this replenishes our blue bar this replenishes our green bar, and this replenishes our red bar, which is why I pick up a lot of them, <laughs> because they're, they're going to be helpful for making potions for all of those. Uh, then we can read like other things like damage stamina. As you notice, the background just got affected because my stamina just went down. I only have one of these, but might as well. It's best to just start munching on them so that you at least know what they can do. You'll get a lot of things. You'll get a lot of... Uh, a lot of things are about to hit me as soon as I get out of this menu. <laughs> ah, well, I'm fine. I'm fine for now. Any active effects? Got a weakness to magic for another 30 seconds. That's fine. I do resist poison and I resist magic for no, from longer. Yay. Yeah, if I go up to the alchemy lab. I do have something for... Yeah, I do have something for restore health. Both of these... Both of these give me something. Since they both make restore health, I can put them together and I can make a restore health potion. So you need two ingredients. It says optional if you want to add a third. That can sometimes give it a different... Sometimes it can give it a different twist on the, on the potion. But for now... For all ills, and I'll be happy to serve. Um, interesting mixture. Keep experimenting. You'll improve with practice. What do you mean, interesting mixture? I made something. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm gonna make another just so I can see if they'll level me up. Oh, there goes the salt pile. Ooh, my alchemical bar is way shorter than I thought. All right, all right, all right. We're done for now. <laughs> I hate that I'm still level one. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Today, Your son what chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Never accept his death. That's what you my son say. still lives. I feel it in my heart. Always true. So tell me, Battleborn, really where is he? Where are you holding my four oh, Chops and steaks, and the fairy fairy is going to come Do and you believe the this old hag? Yes, fairy. We can go to the tavern holding him? Why, okay. I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloak traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more Do to be you said have here. Anything even remote. God, it's weird to hear Pete talk like that. <laughs> if only you talked to Maleficent that way. Oh, well, I completely passed another building. A building that we should check out. So that's the alchemy that's the alchemy shop. This the normal shop. Oh boy, we're gonna get to know Belthazar. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Oh god, we're gonna get to know you very well, aren't we? 
Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Take a look. Yeah, so this is, he's a general store, so he has a lot of variety in his stuff. Oh, he also has fishing stuff. Do you have anything good? Oh, God. Light armor skill by 12 points. It's not bad. Even has some spell tomes. Got a poison here. Okay. You come back. <sighs> You know, there is something I could be doing. There's definitely some, a way that I could quickly level up, and I know where it is. Yes, Housecar. We'll leave immediately. It's just us against the dragon? Is that it? I can't afford to send anyone else, and we don't know where the dragon is. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasting. <laughs> there should be multiple people there. Where are they all at? Oh, there they go. Alright, so they're on their way to Riverwood. So, uh, and I'm going to see if I can beat them there. Yeesh. All right. So if they arrived here, oh, look at that, on time. My, now that's some fine armor. Good old-fashioned steel. So they're here now, which means this. Yep, this uh, wood pile has been turned into a camp. This is where the uh, this is where the soldiers set up camp here. <laughs> I, that was cool. I mean, I thought I would. I I, I knew I wasn't gonna beat them here, but it's just it's just a nice thing to turn around and uh oh is that dog who i think it is Rodnar, Cody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider and if they do they'll kill him that's not much of a prank oh yeah and what would you rather do how about we play tag hear it hey no fair get her stumped yeah dog tackle her okay the dog's not who i thought it was it's just a dog uh that makes sense <laughs> that makes sense in the future believe me all right, well, before we uh, wrap things up, let's head back over to White Run. There's at least one more building that we should check out. And it's the blacksmith right here. Alvor's a blacksmith. She's also a blacksmith. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. I mean, since we're learning all the trades, let's learn how, let's learn how we can help her on the forge. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay, so we're going to make some stuff for her. I mean, she did have a giant order, so we're going to help with her order. Use the blacksmith forge. We can make items here. Uh, she wants us to make a iron, iron dagger. <laughs> so we have the materials at the bottom. We need an iron ingot and a leather strip. We only need one of each. The three and the two is just how many we have. So there we go. Not too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. Have you met my father? He's the steward up at Dragon's Reach. Uh, he's the yeah. Her father's the guy that's getting yelled at by a yard bull gruff. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. I'll take my leave then. Okay. So when we sharpen an item like this, uh we can actually modify its damage abilities. If you notice, it's going up by two. And its value is going up by a little bit. We can only go up to fine at the moment because that's as good as our smithing is. There you go. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Huh. Let's just say I advise the advisor and leave it at that. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. I'll take my leave then. All right, so use the tanning rack if you wanted to use anything with like our numerous uh, pelts that we've been picking up. Luckily, I think she just, what did she give us? Did she give us deer hide? 
I don't claim. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps fitting. That kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Don't forget to check inside the shop. All right. Now time to make a helmet. Don't mind the fact that this helmet has a lot of metal on it. Uh, all we need are iron stuff or leather stuff to make it. Have you met my father? I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. I'll take my leave. Then. Okay, so the grindstone does it for weapons, and the workbench here do, does it for armor. So let's put that hide helmet here. We can go up to fine. I'm waiting. Need something? You have talent. Keep working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? All right then. All right, we just did like a little a little tiny mini quest there. Not bad. There's a couple of different places that we can also check out. I mean, that building right there is a pub. This building right here is a pub. Not many people ever notice this building for some reason. <laughs> or that it's a pub. People live up there. And uh, there's a giant tree. Also, see if I can get away on top of these. Uh, big building over there is... Where the companion set up, your Vasker. Yeah, more buildings, more buildings. Battleborn, give me your money. I, I don't have any money. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lips. No, please. I really don't have any money, Braith. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me bully okay there's one more thing we can do let's head down to the graveyard area oh this is gonna start a whole mess of things <laughs> hello there sir tell me do you believe in mighty RK god of life and death uh I'll just be neutral for this one well as I said RK is the god of life and death You'll find his temples and halls of the dead all across Tamriel. Priests of R.K. such as myself perform rites for the dead and sometimes console the bereaved. We also keep a constant vigil against those who practice the vile arts of necromancy. I asked the question because I was hoping you might be able to help me recover something I've lost. What did you lose? My amulet of R.K. It's the source of my divine powers and also a sacred badge of office. With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed, as are the catacombs. Uh, oh, I, I actually stopped talking. Tell me. Yep. Do you believe in mighty RK, god of life and death? I sure do. I'm glad to know that because I need your help. What do you lose? My I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll find your amulet. I'll just wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. Okay, so I... I I accidentally hit both the A and B button at the same time so that it it triggered the next step of the conversation, but then I immediately exited the conversation. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh let's bless up very quickly. All you have to do is go up to like one of these shrines and uh, all our diseases will be cured. Any other blessings we have will be removed and we'll get the blessing of the shrine, which according to this one gives us fortify health, increase my health by 25 points. For seven hours, in-game hours. <laughs> Not seven real-life hours. That'd be insane. Okay, this guy is having problems downstairs. His morgue is filling up with non-dead non things. Okay, so much for that self. Oh. 
So long, skeleton man. Hey, that worked. I leveled up. Ooh, new, new shield and new weapon. Oh, potion of brief invisibility. How'd you have that, Bone Man? All right, sweet. Got a book here. I'm gonna take that. Oh, that's a that's a that's a uh, skill book. That's the correct word I'm looking for. Skill books you'll find periodically. They immediately raise your stat by one, whatever it was. Speaking of which. All you have to do is raise your stats up enough, and you'll your bar will fill up, which will allow you to level up. So if you see here, it says level up. Let's level up. So upon leveling up, I choose Magicka, Health, or Stamina. If you look at the bottom numbers, uh, they're out of 100 at the moment, except for my health, which is boosted by the Bless. Uh, whatever I choose gets boosted by 10 permanently. So I think it's better to start with Stamina. I'll explain why. So now our stamina is 110, and it's maxed now 110 forever. And I get to increase a perk, which, if I look at any of these, is for perk stuff. So everything that's in red right here, like enchanting up until art, uh, te technically one-handed, is... Yeah. That is uh, underneath the Warrior Stone, so these are the these are the abilities that will level up faster under the Warrior Stone. Everything that's green, which is archery to, I think it's speech, uh, that will level up from the Thief Stone, and then alchemy onwards to enchanting. I think, I oh, know it's probably alteration. These will all level up from the Mage Stone. You can kind of see the Mage in the background in that galaxy level thing anyway so because we're using it a lot and it'll help us in the future uh let's choose what do i want to choose <laughs> i feel like i should start off by choosing lock picking lot novice locks are much easier to pick well we've only picked a couple so maybe not that one maybe do one-handed or smithing or enchanting smithing actually sounds pretty good we're gonna be making our own armor here soon this will allow us to make steel armor so sure it's probably showing with alchemy <laughs> so that i could you know pick more flowers and stuff uh, uh wait 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 we came down here for a reason we have to find that guy's uh amulet which is right here Nothing else in here. Lots of skeletons. Lots of lights. Okay, now we have to pick now we have to deal with the the, the, the weird thing that's right here. Unusual gem. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a mess. But it's there. I mean this is also a mess, but it's not my problem. Oh, Anders. Nice. With this terrible war, I'm a bit overwhelmed, as are the catacombs. Oh, thank Arkay! Please, take this gold for your troubles. And the blessing of Arkay be upon you. So we got paid 15 bucks! And we're becoming a friend to everyone in town. That's very nice. Is it already almost night? <laughs> it's already almost night. All right, well, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Let's just head back over to the front of Whiterun, and we'll wrap this episode up. Hey, hour-long episode. <laughs> we haven't even explored half the buildings in this place. We explore the more important ones. So, did I... Did anyone else see someone sitting there, or was I just losing my mind? I might, I might be losing my mind. On the next episode of Skyrim, we... God, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? I feel like we probably should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, just to get this uh, Dragonstone found, huh? It'll be our tutorial dungeon as well, so that'll be nice. 
Although, we should start in Riverwood. There's a way to start this mission in Riverwood as well that'll kind of help. Uh, how's my item situation looking? Oh, I should mention this because we had it affected when we leveled up. Every time you increase your stamina, your carry weight goes up by 5. So, our carry weight used to be 300. Now, it's at 305, which is the reason why you're, you pick to raise your stamina. So that you have more carry weight. So that you can carry more stuff. Because we're almost too close to the maximum amount that we can carry. Before we start getting encumbered. And that's not good. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. So, yeah. On the next episode of Skyrim. Uh, I think we'll probably sell some stuff we don't need. Just so we can lower our weight limit. <laughs> we have a lot of books that we're carrying that we probably don't need. Uh, and a lot of duplicate weapons and stuff. And we'll make our way over to Riverwood so that we can make our way over to the Bleak Falls Barrow. So until next time, hopefully you enjoy.